Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to Aircraft Structures 1 course. Uh, this is Professor Anup Ghosh from Aerospace Engineering Department IIT Kharagpur. We are at the end lecture of module 7 or the 7th week lectures and uh, title of the lecture remains same effects of circular hole on stress distribution in a plate. Uh, that is because uh, so far what we have done in this uh, series is, is we have evaluated the um, we have evaluated the equations uh, or derived I should say the equations uh, of elasticity in polar coordinate system. So, that we can handle the problems problem we have specified and after that uh, for uniform stress uniaxial uh, stress in plane stress of uh, amplitude is we have uh, solved the problem and in that solution we have also seen that there are different stresses at different points and those things more about uh, those with those results we will spend some time in this lecture to have some more insight into the problem. So, with that note uh, we move forward and in this what we do is that uh, we do the recapitulation. In this recapitulation slide as usual we try to remember uh, the work what we have or the portions what we have already covered we have we started with the history of aircraft uh, as well as history of solid mechanics and then we have slowly come to the various types of external loads uh, conceptual structural details of, of aircraft structures those we have con con covered, we have uh, covered in depth uh, the flight envelope and load factor, how the flight envelope, envelope changes for different types of uh, aircraft that also we have discussed. It is important to, to find out the shear force bending moment uh, experienced by wing and fuselage. So, one typical example in that correlation we have solved uh, considering unit load concept, uh, considering 1 g and uh, some unit uh, loading concept combined with in unit load concept it is said. So, that for different g value or inertia load uh, we can find out the bending moment and shear force. We have uh, solved learned uh, to solve three dimensional structures uh, especially trusses solved a few problems related to landing gear. Then we have uh, come across to different energy methods predominantly to find out the deflection. So, in that method we have learned uh, complementary energy method, total potential energy approach, unit load method, dummy load method, Castiglianos theorem and also we have uh, learned one very very important step uh, in important procedure we must say that is the Rayleigh ridge method. And we have seen how the assumption of initial uh, deflection profile is important to get a good solution or um, appropriate or close to experimental solutions are necessary. So, after that we have gone to the theory of elasticity portion, theory of elasticity is very very important in the sense that unless we learn the theory of elasticity, we are not able to have insight into the problems and this lecture specially is dealing that type of insight already we have discussed to some extent in the last few minutes of the last lecture 
why a hole uh, is analyzing a hole under uniform tension in a plate is important. How more stresses are coming, why the cracks open from a certain position and it goes further. Those things we have learned and a little bit more we will try to discuss uh, in this lecture. So, this lecture is uh, mainly the discussion about the ways it has been it has been implemented or precautions should be taken. So, with that note let us proceed further with the problem what we have solved we have found out the stresses, but we need to have a discussion on it. So, with that note the same figure we bring uh, let me have a rip, have a have a description of the problem what we have solved. In this what we have solved is a, a plate is considered mm, the prime thing is that the plate is loaded uniaxially along the axis x and uh, the intensity of stress is S and then uh, what we have is that there is a hole and uh, we, we consider that the hole radius is uh, comparatively small in comparison to the width or the other way it has been defined. The diameter is less uh, comparatively small in comparison to the width or A is small in comparison to B. So, we are considering that after B the, the stress remains uh, uniform uh, as if there is no hole in that condition and we have considered found out the stress for that from, from that part we have not done, but you can easily do it simple stress transformation if you do you can find out the stresses for that. And from there we found that uh, it comprises of two part one is uniform stress of S by 2 and the others are non-uniform in nature with it I would like to say why non-uniform, non-uniformity is with respect to theta. So, other part is uh, uniform with respect to theta. So, it is axis symmetric case that part we have solved first, then the other part we have solved and we have combined uh, equations uh, for sigma theta sigma r as well as tau r theta. So, this is what we have got with respect to theta cos 2 theta cos 2 theta sin 2 theta. Okay. Also, we have discussed that under this particular uh, situation the stress at this particular point is thrice the stress uh, applied to the plate. This is 3 s and that is also tensile in nature here and uh, as well as here m and n and at p and q this is compressive in nature. So, that is the usual reason why a crack opens up from this and goes further. It is 3 times definitely that is supposed to fail in tension and that position and it is to propagate. Now, in this uh, that we have already discussed how do we get to some extent profile also discussed we will discuss again that profile. So, let us see what uh, is there today to discuss for the cross section of the plate through the center of the hole and perpendicular to the x axis theta is equals to pi by 2 and from the previous stress equations around the hole what we can see is these equations they are here the value is only put for theta and we get that is by 2 2 plus a square by r square plus 3 a to the power 4 by r to the power 4. Uh, it, it is uh, a at r equals to a it goes to 3 s as we have seen. So, that holds tau r theta is equals to 0 from here. It is evident that the effective effect of the hole is of a very localized character and as r increases r increases or say in this line if we go further for to find out sigma theta the stress sigma theta approaches the value s very rapidly. 
since it is fourth order and second order in terms of A and R uh, ratio definitely it is supposed to be very very quickly to come to 0. So, that is what is said mathematically if you plot it gives uh, this type of uh, profile. The localized char character of the stress sorry the localized character of the stresses around the hole justifies the application of the solution. So, uh, it is uh, said that uh, means the solution whatever we have got if we try to check the solutions how far uh, the initial assumption what we took that if B is comparatively large with respect to A it, it that uniform stress remains uh, remains. So, whether that is uh, prevailing or not that we, we are saying and it is said that uh, it is a little distance apart only it becomes uniform. So, um, the localized character of the stresses around the hole justifies the application of the solution derived from the infinitely large plate to a plate of finite width, finite width. So, that finite width is B. If the width of the plate is not less than 4 times the diameter of the hole, the error of the solution is cal in calculating sigma theta max does not exceed 6 percent. So, it says that if it is 4 times the diameter, uh, then the maximum error involved is 6 percent. So, it is quite clear that uh, means what we can say that uh, this side it is 1 and half diameter, this side it is 1 and half diameter because this is 1 diameter. So, uh, that is not big uh, if the figure is much more than uh, that. So, with that concept uh, we, we say that uh, there is a stress concentration at this point at this point, but it does not remain for much more length even if we consider the length uh, approximately 4 times uh, or the width here uh, approximately 4 times the diameter of the circle, the error involved is approximately 6 percent. So, that is probably negligible. So, with that note uh, we proceed further for the discussion. We, we come across uh, to a different type of uh, problem. In this problem what we see is that uh, instead of uh, putting only stress only in one direction, we may have stress condition from both the directions. So, what can be the situation that is what we have tried to um, find out. Having the solution for torsion sorry tension or compression in one direction, the solution for tension or compression in two perpendicular directions can be easily obtained by superpositions. So, it is uh, we are assuming that linear superposition holds. So, if uh, in one direction the solution we got have obtained we can easily find out the other direction separately and we can add it. By taking the for instance tensile stresses in two perpendicular directions not this case. tensile stress in two perpendicular direction equals to S, we find at the boundary of the hole a tensile stress of twice S. Why it is coming like that? Because if this is S, this is also S because uh, if we consider any one point there we have for one direction is plus 3 s 
but the for the other direction it is minus s. So, it becomes twice sorry. twice s. So, similarly it is a symmetric condition. So, in all the corners whatever we have all the diametrically opposite positions is having ex experiencing sigma theta or opening type of stress uh, in this particular point. Say if this point if we talk about sigma theta is acting we are talking about this sigma theta. So, that is what if we apply in both the direction tensile force, but if we apply some other type of force which is more critical we need to discuss that is what is shown here it is a critical case. By taking a tensile stress S in x direction in x direction better we remove this for in x direction as in the figure above or it is on the right hand side and a compressive stress of minus s compressive stress of minus s in the y direction we obtain the case of pure shear. This is uh, this is something what we asked you to solve mm, see if in this particular case if we consider any element here which is 45 degree angle. this experiences a pure shear that means only shear stresses are acting there is no uh, normal stress acting on that particular orientation element. So, in the there it is also may be noted that this amplitude becomes s whatever am the amplitude of the stress being applied on that that is the reason we call it as a pure shear. The tangential stress at the boundary of the holes are, so in this particular case of pure shear uh, which may be achieved by tensile and compressive stresses as applied here. We can have sigma theta is equals to this minus this it is as usual I do not want to um, go into dip into it for theta equals to pi by 2 and theta equals to 3 pi by 2 that is at the point n and m we are talking about this point as well as this point. What we have we find that sigma theta is equals to 4 s if you just simply substitute in this formula and see that in that particular portion we have tensile stress of 4 s for theta equals to 0 and theta equals to pi that means, this position as well as this position we have theta is equals sigma theta is equals to minus 4 s. So, this is a particular type of situation where uh, we have um, very high stress concentration. Uh, at the diametrical point one is tensile in nature, this is tensile in nature, this is compressive in nature and those uh, goes to the mm. magnitude of 4 times the stress applied on it. And in this particular case if we go for a stress transformation we can find out that at 45 degree angle there is a pure shear uh, is oriented, pure shear is developed. So, hence for a large plate under pure shear the maximum tangential stress at the boundary of the hole is 4 times larger than the applied pure shear. Uh, why it is saying tangential stress because whatever the sigma theta we are talking about here also it is acting this way here also it is acting this way that is the reason we say this is tangential stress. So, this is negative compressive in nature these two are tensile in nature. So, with that note with a critical point of discussion 
uh, which may be experienced by some part of the structure. We will uh, move further uh, to discuss this thing with respect to the application. So, we have few points to discuss, let us try. The high stress concentration found at the edge of a hole is of greater practical importance. So, already we have discussed, we need to consider these things, we will come again. As an example, hole in the cabin of an aircraft fuselage may be mentioned. So, this is very, very important case, uh, aircraft comet disaster took place, they are, uh, they used uh, some rectangular type of window, if something like this shape, corners were round, but not sharp, but from there because of the different stress condition, the fuselage got teared apart and uh, that was the problem it happened, there were many, many catastrophic failures and after that uh, the design got modified, uh, people did lot of experiments with strain gauges applied on those areas. Uh, hope you are aware of strain gauges, strain gauges are the gauges what we, we paste on the structure, put on the structure to find out strains. So, that is very, very important decision people have learned uh, and uh, the crack propagation and uh, fracture has uh, has come to a, with a very, very important uh, subject of discussion. So, so with that uh, what we go, we go further with the skin of the fuselage bend tension or compression is produced in the skin and there is a high stress concentration at the holes. Under the cycli cycles of stresses produced by the aerodynamic loads, landing and take off fatigue of the metal can be overstressed portions, uh, sorry fatigue of the metal at the overstressed portions may result finally in fatigue cracks. So, along with that one more phenomena is talked about that is the fatigue uh, that means, uh, the, with repeated loading uh, properties of the structure changes, uh, capacity to withstand uh, crack changes, uh, it becomes uh, prone to failure uh, and those studies and again that is a separate area of, of discussion. So, people uh, have studied those area and seen that if this type of situations are there, we need to reinforce uh, the parts surrounding this. We generally put another reinforcing ring around surrounding this with rivets, because we cannot have a structure where we do not have any hole. So, once we, we reinforce it, we make it more stress with stress withstanding portion, then the nature and distribution of stresses changes, change and then we get some, get we get a structure which is safe to use. So, with that note, uh, we proceed further. So, here we will bring, we will not derive the equations, but uh, we will try to use the equation for understanding. So, let us see, it is often necessary to reduce the stress concentration at holes, such as access holes in airplane wings and fuselage. There are many access holes, not only that uh, we need those holes to reduce weights, we need those holes and areas to say for wing, wing ribs if you look at those, there are so many holes. because. In civil aircraft, may predominantly fuel is stored in the wing. So, unless we have hole, how can we store, store the fuel? We need to lay 
the fuel pipes and other avionic other other control equipments through those ribs. So, we need to have hole. So, we cannot have, have a structure without a hole, but uh, at the same time we need to use those properly so that it does not go to failure. The analytical problem has been solved by extending the method employed for the hole and results have been compared with strain gauge measurements. So, what is done? This can be done by adding a reinforcing ring as I have shown uh, in the last slide. In general, uh, we put a reinforcing ring uh, around that particular hole and that prevents a lot. So, with that note, we proceed further to this particular type case. In an elliptical hole, which is oriented this way, is made in an infinite plate under tension S with one of the principal axes parallel to the tension. The stresses at the ends of the axis of the hole perpendicular to the direction of the tension R sigma is equals to S 1 plus 2 A by B at this point. So, where 2 A is the axis of the ellipse perpendicular to the tension and 2 B is the other axis. We are talking about theta definitely. We are talking about stress in this direction. So, this derivation is little bit lengthy and it takes time. So, that is the reason it has been skipped. You may find it in any theory of elasticity book. So, what we, we do a very large slender, slender hole or while A by B is large that means, uh, this is a hole something like maybe this type of ellipse or maybe maybe more perpendicular to the axis of the tension causes a very high stress concentration. Why in this particular case? A by B ratio is high. If A by B ratio is high, you see it, the stress jumps. If it is equal, it is 3 s as the circular case of hole. If it is more, it increases. So, so that is very, very good phenomena to increase. So, as the hole uh, becomes thin or the ellipse ratio changes, A is much more than the B then uh, it, the stress concentration at this particular point becomes very high. This explains why cracks transverse to the applied force tends to spread. So, if you think about a crack uh, that crack also may be assumed something like a ellipse and but having a and b a different value a is definitely high very high in comparison to b and that initiates and uh, propagates the crack. The spreading can be stopped. This is very, very intelligent way of doing it in practical life. The spreading can be stopped by drilling a hole at the ends of the crack to eliminate the sharp curvature responsible for the high stress concentration. So, as soon as he if we talk about if, if we find some crack here, and if we put a hole, drill a hole around this, what will happen? Uh, the stress is limited there up to only 3 s, it is not more than 3 s. So, that arrests the crack. So, with that uh, intelligent way of arresting crack, uh, people work in practical situations where it is difficult to prevent the structure by replacing it or by reinforcing it in some other manner. Uh, in some cases, this trick is this I should not say trick, this intelligent way is applied. And with that note on, on crack propagation, stress concentration, we would like to come to the end of the lecture and uh, we come to the standard usual slide of references and uh, with that note uh, we come to the end of the week 7 lecture uh, where we have discussed stress concentration around a hole and with that note
uh, I thank you for attending this lecture. We will meet again in the 8th week lecture. Thank you.